Hey guys, welcome back to another great episode of Sell This Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in this episode, we're going to the 2022 Hampton Roads International Car Show, so stay tuned. Hey guys, man, you are in for a treat today. The Hampton Roads International Car Show in the year 2022. Yeah, my lord. We are here to see some hot rods and some exotics, maybe some nice mid-engine Corvettes. You never know. Lifted trucks, big diesels. Hey, what's up with the big grills on all the cars nowadays? Have you guys noticed that? If you want to know, let me know in the comments section down below. But enough chit chat let's get to the wheels let's get to those hot cars and the hot rods guys stay tuned
hey guys, that wasn't that cool. I mean, I went ahead and threw a couple things in there, like the custom Impala. I liked the dash. I liked how the skulls were airbrushed on there. It looked, it looked cool. You know, you put some quality time into your car, that looks nice, right? Now, you also had the 2022 mid-engine Corvette, which is always nice. I see you, uh, I see you, Chevy, out there trying to copy Ferrari. Yeah, I see you. But, no worries. Hey, you always have to have an economical Corvette, right? So, ain't nothing wrong with that. But, did you also see... One of one of them I really loved was that new Escalade. Beautiful, blacked out, murdered out. Oh, amazing, right? Hey guys, thank you so much for actually checking out the car show with uh, with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did not make it down to the Hampton Roads International Car Show, it happens every year in Virginia Beach. So if you didn't make it this year, maybe you'll make it next year. But uh, hey. My channel is for auto repair, guys. DIY auto repair. I'm here to save you hundreds and thousands of dollars this year so you can put more money towards you and your family instead of paying the auto repair shop and all their employees. You know? Hey, great example. Great example. Uh, I'm working on a 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee right now, and I just went ahead and replaced the crankshaft position sensor. Okay, the crankshaft position sensor is held in by one bolt, one 13 millimeter bolt. But if you check the prices at an auto repair shop right now, they're going to charge you $95 to replace that on top of the part. Okay, and the part's going to run you $60. So now you're in for $155 on a part that should have took you one 13 millimeter bolt to replace. That's what I'm talking about. They're charging way too much, guys. I mean, do you you just have three, four thousand dollars sitting in your pocket? Because guess what? If you have a uh, oil filter housing that needs replaced on a 2017 Volkswagen Jetta, it's going to cost you $4,300. Isn't that crazy? When the part is $40. Insane, right? But you know what? Right here on the channel, I'm here for you guys. I want to make sure that that money that you worked so hard for gets put back towards you and your family. So, hey, check out the channel you want to know more about DIY auto repair, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. Also, make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you get notified of all my future videos I release right here on the channel. But also, I always have to say but guys, if you do not have the time, okay, to work on your vehicle, because guess what? I just dumped 54 hours into a full engine rebuild on a Jeep Grand Cherokee, okay? A lot of people don't have that kind of time. It'll take you months and months and months, and you know what? You need it for your, your primary driver. You need it to get to work or to school or take the kids to school or take, take your old lady to, you know, a date or something. You got to have your car. Well, there's still no reason for you to pay the insane auto repair cost. So, hey, I'm gonna throw a, a number in the lower lower part of the screen. You give those guys a call. They're a great team, and they can save you up to 75% on your next auto repair bill. They also give you free tire rotations, free oil changes, free 24/7 roadside assistance. Which, hey, with everything that happened on I-95 just a couple weeks ago, that's not too bad, right? So, hey, thank you so much, guys, for checking out another great episode, right? here on the channel. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button in the lower right hand corner. That way YouTube and myself get told that, hey, Zach, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. And that's what I love. I love helping you guys and I love saving you money. So until next time, guys, hey, keep on wrenching. Take care.